Let's look at pressure and application of pressure in the barometer. So the Earth's atmosphere has mass and has weight, and this exerts a pressure on you, force over area, weight divided by the area. So if we look at the Earth and look at the ground of the Earth, we can see that around it there's this envelope of atmosphere. And the pressure associated with the atmosphere we very conveniently called one atmosphere. So the pressure that you're feeling on a perfectly uh, normal day is one atmosphere of pressure. And one atmosphere of pressure is defined as 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth newtons per meter squared. If you're taking the AP exam, it will be called 100,000 newtons per meter squared for easy calculations. Now, we don't call it newtons per meter squared. Instead, we call it pascals because we're naming it after Blaise Pascal. So if I think about this in the atmosphere, I can think about the pressure and I can think about a square inch, the force on a square inch. So here's my square inch right there. And if I think about the square inch, I can put it on top of my head. And then on top of the square inch, there's a column of atmosphere that's one inch by one inch as the area. And it goes all the way up as high as it can. And this column that's one inch by one inch has a weight of 14.7 pounds. So what we do is we say that one atmosphere is equal to 14.7 pounds per square inches. Not an SI unit, but one that we run into a lot. Okay, so let's talk about how this affects a barometer and how a barometer can tell the pressure of the atmosphere. Here's a video that I can't top, so I'm just going to use it and show you what's going on. We're going to make a barometer. And what I have here is a glass tube that's about 800 millimeters long. And I've filled it with mercury almost to the top. And I'm going to finish filling it so that I get filled all the way to the very top. And then I'm going to put my finger over the end and I'm going to invert it into the mercury. I'm going to set it here and use our clamp to hold it. Now, what's keeping this mercury column so high? It's that atmospheric pressure pushing down on the mercury, pushing this up. And let's see how tall our column is. 744 millimeters. It doesn't matter what size the diameter of our tube is, as long as it's relatively small. You can see this one's really small. I have another one that's almost twice the diameter of this one. But you can see that the, the level is the same in both tubes. What we're going to do is compare this crooked barometer to the barometer that we already have. And notice it rises to the same level. So here's kind of a picture of our barometer. It's got a sealed in at the top, and there's the mercury. And what's holding the mercury up in the tube is the atmospheric pressure. So what's pushing down on the open part, it's basically an open bowl. And the atmosphere is pushing down, and because pressure works in all directions, that's pushing the mercury and holding it up inside the tube. So what we say is, is that one atmosphere of pressure, that's about 100,000 pascals, is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. And the pressure just comes from the air molecules hitting the mercury and keeping it up in the tube. All right, so in other words, the pressure is equal to, well, the, the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure at the bottom of this tube. And what a barometer looks like in reality is something like this. When I was in middle school, way back when, we all had these in our rooms. And the, the mercury is in the bottom. It's like in a little beaker. And going all the way up, there's a tube. And it's got markings on it, so you could actually look at it and see how high the mercury went. Now, they don't do this anymore because the bottom's open to the atmosphere. That means the mercury vapor's coming out, and they're, they can poison everybody. So now they care more about the students, I guess, but um, they don't have this in the, in the typical classroom. And the barometric pressure is used. You'd find it if you watch the news because on the news, you'll see the weather. And here's an example of a page of the weather for Charlottesville. It's a three-day forecast. But if you look closely at the forecast, you'll see that it talks about the barometer, what the current barometer reading is. And the current barometer reading is 30 inches of mercury. 
And so that's how they're telling you the pressure. And it's the changes in the barometer that you're really concerned with. But this pressure, 30 inches, not millimeters, but 30 inches of mercury.